I've been absolutely um, impressed how, how everyone has been looking after each other and our customers. I'm Richard Nunn, CEO of MetLife Australia. Business continuity is something we take fairly seriously. I don't think we could have predicted we would be 100% um, working from home. We're dealing with a pandemic, but we do have plans to, to ensure that we continue to run our business. In this situation, we had to quickly work out how do we get all of our people home. Fortunately, everyone had laptops um, with VPN on them and we just sent people home. So we had to trust that our people would continue to provide the sort of service that they're providing the customers and they did that. We've been on the front foot and our people have owned the situation. I've seen a huge amount of support for each other through this time, people check in on each other, and with one opportunities have required incredible amounts of collaboration. We've done things that would take six months, and we've done them in a week or two. And to me, those are the things that have sort of shone through during this time. So the onset of the pandemic coincided with MetLife Globally announcing its new Next Horizon strategy, winning together, building tomorrow, and owning it. I think the most important message we gave our, our leadership group was that they had to be super visible, that we wanted all of our people leaders to be checking in on their people regularly. This has been an interesting time for us in that We've probably had more opportunity to connect with partners and clients, purely because people are at home and they're more accessible. And so I'm operating out of my, my, my bedroom at home and the kids, for the first eight weeks, they were home and there's no escape. And they used to make special guest appearances, generally when I really didn't need them to do it. I wasn't the only one, so I was in a meeting and the, the dog was scratching at the door. The guy had to sort of time out in the meeting to go and let the dog out. And you also get to see see what people do. I mean, you can you see evidence of people's hobbies and what they read and all sorts of stuff. And you know, in the in in just seeing people in their personal space, you get to see see where people live. And it's been a I think it's actually brought people closer together because there are probably areas that you don't talk about much when you're in a sort of the heat of the work day and getting stuff done. But um, you know, it's been it's been great. And, and, I mentioned there's been cooking classes, so you know, we're seeing people's kitchens and all sorts that you wouldn't normally see during the normal work cycle. Number one for us was people and their families and making sure that they were well and safe and being cared for. Three, number two was clearly our customers and partners that we spent a lot of time with and just because we were working from home uh, didn't mean that we could not keep paying attention and making sure we were supporting them um, through this period. Number three was the commercial side of trading through a pandemic. Uh, we've got a return to work committee with senior people on it that are getting all the relevant information and making sure that we're set up properly to manage coming back to, it, to the office. I don't know how long this working from home will last for. I, I don't think it's going to end in a hurry. So I've asked our people to increase the intensity with which we interface with customers. So that's my commitment, that we're not going to drop the ball during this time.